Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about program to display floats triangle. So, suppose if I enter the number 4, then output like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next, I am going to discuss about the dry end method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Hereafter, that go down. Add here, I have taken four integer tab variable i, j, n, and temp. So, temp value start from 1. And at here, enter the number. So I'm going to enter the number 4. So that will go to n. So n become 4. Now control comes to for loop. I start from 1. Check the condition. At here, 1 less than equal to n value 4. So 1 less than equal to 4. That's true. Control comes to this point. j start from 1. And at here, i value. 1 j value 1 so 1 less than equal to 1 condition true now control comes to this point at here that print the time value so first time that print 1 now uh, time value increase by 1 so time become 2 so hereafter control comes to this point check the condition Oh, sorry, j increase by 1, so j become 2. Now check the condition. At here, j value 2, i value 1. So 2 less than equal to 1, that's not true. Control comes to this point. Now cursor will blink to the a new line. Now from here, that increase the value of i. So i become 1, 2, 2. Check the condition. So at here, 2 less than equal to n value 4. 2 less than equal to 4, condition true. Then again, that go inside, j start from 1 again. And add here, check the condition. 1 less than equal to i value 2. 1 less than equal to 2, condition true. Print up temp value. So at the new line, that print the value of temp. So temp value is not 2. And again, the value of temp gonna increase by 1. Now j also increase. After this, j increase, so j become 2 to 3. Check the condition. Oh, sorry, add here. j first time, or oh, 1. Now next to oh, that increase by 1, so j become 2. And uh, next to check the condition. i value 2, j value 2. 2 less than equal to 2, condition 2. So add here, that print the value of time. So time value is now 3. Again, uh, time gonna increase by 1. Oh no, j value also increase. Control comes to this point, j become 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to or uh, 2. Condition false. Now, again, uh, come to this point, and here cursor will blink to new line. Now, again, the value of i gonna increase by 1, so i become 3. Now, check the condition, and here 3 less than equal to 4. Condition true, j start from 1 again. And check the condition 1 less than equal to 3. Condition true. Print the value of temp. So temp value is now 4. And increase the value of j. So j become 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to or 3. Condition true. Print the value of temp. So 5. And increase the value of temp also. So 4 plus 5. 
again the value of four or j gonna increase so j become three check the condition three less than equal to or uh, three condition true again that print the value of tan so tan value is now so right here i forget to increase the value of tan so right here tan value becomes six from your after printing this value of tan, that gonna increase by one. So tan uh, become uh, five to six. And now uh, check the condition at your three. Uh, J value increase by uh, one. So J become three. Three less than equal to three. Condition two. At your print of tan value. So tan value is this term uh, six. Now uh, increase the value of tan also. Tan become uh, seven. And uh, after increasing, J also increase, so J become 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to I value now 3. 4 less than equal to 3, condition false, control comes to this point. Cursor blink, blink to new line. Now again, that uh, go up and increase the value of I, so I become 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 4, condition true. Then that go inside, J start from 1. J start from 1 and uh, check the condition 1 less than equal to I value also 1 1 less than equal to 1 condition to printer time so time value this time 6 or uh, 6 to here time value now uh, 7 so I have print the value of 7 and increase the value of uh, or time also so time becomes 7 to 8 now from here j also increase so j become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 4 that's true print of time so time value is now 8 so that print 8 at here now again the value of j gonna increase so j become 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 4 print the value of time so time value is now so again i forget here that uh, should be 9 so again the value of time or uh, 9 at here and next to uh, increase the value of time so time become or uh, 10 now again the value of uh, j gonna increase so j become 4 and at here check the condition 4 less than equal to uh, 4 that's true again the print the value of time so time value this time 10 so this print time or uh, now increase the value of time also time become 11 now uh, increase the value of j so j become 5 check the condition 5 uh, i value 4 5 less than, uh, less than equal to 4 so condition false so control comes to uh, this point and here cursor will blink to there now increase the value of i so i become 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to uh, n value of 4 so 5 less than equal to 4 condition false so that will out from for loop and uh, after that that out from main function as well so this is the way of execution of program so this is the output we have so i hope guys you understand how the program execute and steps so thanks for watching see you in next video